the situation, in, I, I've never experienced anything like it before, the situation in Ennis was that everybody turned out. Everybody and their mums and their sons and their daughters and their relatives turned out. And they were all there to see the champ. Well, then we got in the, in the car, in the, in the, um, the four by four, and the mob descended upon us, but not a mob descending upon us in the sense that um, an unruly mob, but people were putting their hand in and they would touch Muhammad Ali. And the kids would say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I've touched him, I've touched him, I've touched him. And then we get to a place and it's right in the center of the city, or near the center of the city, and we laid a stone. And the stone is both in Gaelic and in English. And the stone says on it to commemorate the visit of our great, great grandson um, coming to Ennis with Pierce Lang. And I'm there, and he's again, is unreal, and we're surrounded by cameras. But Muhammad always relates, always relates to the underdog. And he always relates to the, um, maybe somebody who's in some way either mentally or physically impaired. And so a little boy came in. And he saw the little boy, and the little boy uh, was on a wheelchair. And remember now, we're surrounded by thousands of people and hundreds of cameras. And I had given Muhammad Ali a watch. In fact, a watch like this, which I wear to this day. And this watch commemorates the visit of Muhammad Ali to his birthplace, as it were. And I suggested to him, I said, why don't you give the watch to the little boy? He starts to take the watch off, he had a little bit of shake. He's taking the watch off. The little boy is shaking. And we're trying to transfer this watch from Muhammad Ali's wrist to the little boy's wrist. Rest assured, that watch from Muhammad Ali's wrist to his wrist was probably the defining moment of his, of his life. Incidentally, when it was over, Muhammad says, He had no watch, <laughs> so I had to go out and get him another one. But when you see a city of town, city, 20,000, and it's going to 120,000, and when you see the pub's names being changed in Ireland to Muhammad Ali's pub, uh, Muhammad Ali's supermarket, Muhammad Ali's street, um, you know you've done something special or at least you've experienced something special.